what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel okay so today i am excited again i'm going to be doing another sneak review of course if you see me in the office here there is a sneak review coming if i'm in the garage it's going to be an automotive content and again this channel here was supposed to be automotive and sneakers and you know just mixed in a lot of different things of my experiences but basically automotive and sneakers and i kind of just geared it one way for a while just all automotive i was taking all my money and throwing it all into my cars and kind of not buying sneakers for a while and now that i've only come down to two cars i kind of get this thing where i could do these the sneaker reviews again because i could throw some of my money towards the sneakers even though these i did not purchase they were sent to me by again of course shoppop.ru and those are the same people that sent me the sneakers for the jordan 11 dmp or gratitude whatever you want to call them i call them dmp because they look just like the dmp but people are calling them the gratitudes but anyways and again those were the, basically the one-to-one -one replicas it's the same thing with this shoe it is a one-to-one -one replica but it is exactly what the shoe is going to look like in about two weeks when the shoe comes out now with that with saying that i am going to probably be trying to get those sneakers from nike because in two weeks that's pretty close to this video that's coming out here um i should be able to do a review on the original plus the one-to-one -one replicas and let's what we basically see exactly if there's any big difference between these two but anyways without that be, with all that being said the shoes i'm gonna be doing it with i'm excited with because it is from one of my favorite artists of reggaeton now i like listening to all types of music uh mainly rap hip-hop r&b and reggaeton and of course you guys have probably heard because reggaeton is becoming pretty much big in the united states bad bunny you have maluma you have daddy yankee which is one of the uh, big ones out there don omar and then of course now you have of course j valvin and j valvin is actually one of the top selling artists out there more than 39 million copies sold i think he's right next to daddy yankee and he's been on the billboard charts he's come out with so many hits i will link some of his videos down below so you guys can check them out and i will link you know there's actually an interview he's got with complex that he here about a year ago talking about this whole collab with jordan and and him and it's actually a pretty good story but anyways this is the third sneaker that he's had collab with the, the first two sneakers he's done a collab with was basically the jordan one and the jordan two now the jordan one was more of a um you know it's a jordan one but it's colorful and at first i was like eh, i didn't like it too much there's a lot of color going on there's a lot a lot of things going on in the shoe and that's basically what j valvin's personality is like he is basically colorful if you look at some of his pictures he's got first of all he's got tattoos everywhere which have a lot of colors he's always coloring his hair and basically that's what he is he's a colorful guy and he explains about that he basically it's his on his personality how that shoe came out the air jordan 2 that one's actually a more toned down but still had some craziness to it basically it was a blue color shoe and it had some clouds out there and basically the whole meaning behind that shoe was basically uh the sky's the limit and also was supposed to resemble you know the clouds like the sky's in medellin colombia because that's where he's from colombia and of course it's got some stitching on there that is basically got a rainbow stitching on there that looked pretty cool as well and the most the, the best part of the shoe was actually the wings logo on the tongue actually lit up if you pressed on it it actually lit up green uh only problem with that shoe was if the battery died in that logo it would just die and that was the end of the shoe lighting up you can replace the battery on that one so those were the two prior to this shoe now this shoe here is the air jordan 3. Uh, we all everybody's seen an air jordan 3 but it's got of course a little bit of j valvin in the shoe or a lot of j valvin in the shoe and i actually like the way this shoe looks so let's take a look at the shoe we'll look at the box first so it's got a plastic covering over that we'll take off in a second but here it is basically it's got like it looks like in this plastic covering it has a it, it's it's got some trees or something here and it looks like water here but then you have the j valvin logo right up here which is the smiley face with the lightning bolts on it and it's supposed to be the sun and of course the colors of a sunset right here but if you look at the the actual box itself it looks like basically you're looking through some trees there's some water on here from the looks of it and then of the sunset right there and that's basically the whole theme of the shoe now when you take this plastic cover off you have the box right here and of course my size size nine and a half and it's the air jordan 3 sp and literally the color says multicolor, multi or multicolor, multicolor twice. And here's the box itself. Now there is some writing at the bottom of the box here. Now the writing says, and it's in Spanish and English, says, Un atardecer 
en Medellín siempre me recuerda que viene un nuevo día lleno de oportunidad. Now, below that, there's a translation with a signature on it, but it says, a sunset always reminds me a new day full of opportunity is coming, which is pretty much they forgot the Medellín because they're actually supposed to say a sunset in Medellín, which is Colombia, of course, where he's from, always reminds me of a full day full of opportunities coming. And that's what that is basically means. So this is basically a sunset, what he's talking about here. All right, so let's take a look at the shoes now. Now, the shoe itself, I love the way it looks. I love the way it looks since I saw it first on pictures. And, it, of course, it's Jordan 3. You got the nice elephant print and everything here. Now, just so you guys are aware, this is a replica. It's a one-to-one -one replica. I did get this shoe sent to me from shoppop.ru. Go ahead and check him out on your website or check his Instagram page out at Winnie underscore 8. And if you guys do decide to purchase anything from him, use my coupon code PR. You get 10% off of that, the shoes itself. But again, back to the shoe. I mean, look at this thing. This thing looks really good. Now, I haven't had a pair of Jordan 3s in a very long time. I got 4s. I got 5s. I got a bunch of different. I got 1s and 2s. But Jordan 3s, I haven't had them in a very long time. And the reason I wanted these is because, of course, my favorite artist, like I said earlier, is, or one of my favorite artists is J Valvin. And this shoe just, I love the way the shoe looks itself. Uh, now, of course, we're just going to talk about it. It's got a cream color uh, upper, pretty much. You have some suede right in here where the eyelets are at, the first three eyelets. And then the rest of the shoe is all pretty much leather, just like most of them are, with the elephant print on there with a kind of a tannish kind of grayish elephant print on there and the elephant print matches of course the top of this suede right here you got some suede up in the back upper right here as well the colorway is basically the sunset colorway now you have the sun all up in the top portion here so you have the jordan brand logo the Jumpman with the same uh kind of yellowish orange resembling the sun the inner of the tongue is the same exact color as well the top eyelids and the bottom eyelids as well are the same color that orangey yellow and of course where the stitching is at the stitching itself is not that color but right in the leather where they meet right on the top portion of this leather right there you can see that also kind of has that same resemblance so we basically got kind of the sun up on the top here the colors of the sun up here and then if we go to the back then we have our pretty much your plate that here this is nike brand has you got the nike right there and the air now the eye is of course the lightning bolt and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second here. And then, of course, you have the bottom colorway right here, which is, again, the sunset type, you know, the color of the sunset from Medellin. And that's kind of the theme of the whole shoe is basically it resembles that. Now, I've seen videos or just say seen pictures of J Valvin wearing an all black with the same colorway. I don't know how I feel about the all black. I'll have to like kind of look at it on hand. I like this a lot more because it kind of goes with more styles. I, I mean, at least in my in my opinion. As we go down here, of course, you got your air bubble right in there, your visible air bubble. And then the bottom of the shoe is a translucent, kind of whitish translucent color on that bottom sole of the shoe. The insole of the shoe, of course, also has the sunset theme on there with the Air Jordan logo and Air written in kind of J Valvin's handwriting. Now, the right shoe, of course, also has the uh, J Valvin logo, which is basically the smiley face with the lightning bolts on there. Um, and there's a lot of that going around with smiley faces and H's and lightning bolts and X's. Travis Scott has the X's on there. But the shoe itself looks good. I love the colorway. It's not as crazy as the first one with all the different colors. Or the second one had like a skyish blue. I believe there's a specific color to that blue. But it, it's not as crazy as that one. It is more toned down. And I love the theme of the sunset type of look on the shoe. And you got the orange, you got the orangey, kind of the pinkish going into the purple. Love the way the shoe looks. And it looks more like a, of a traditional shoe that you kind of wear out other than having this crazy colorway up from the Jordan 1s. Um, and the Jordan 1s stand out to me a lot because it was just his first shoe. And I kind of was, eh. And the more I look at them, the more I kind of started to like them. But I may get a pair, I may not. Now, again, this is the replica shoe. This is not an authentic shoe from Nike. I did not get this from, from Nike itself. From knowing Jordan 3s, they look just like the, it should look. It doesn't feel cheap. None of the materials feel cheap. Nothing for the tongue has got some thickness to it. So, I mean, if you guys are planning 
or if you guys decide to you don't want a pair of Jordans but you don't want to go to stock X or go and pay those high really really high prices they got out there on some of these shoes which are authentic and they can be also replicas if you guys uh, some people have complained about gold or stock X selling replicas but if you guys want to just you know get a pair of these or any other shoe Travis Scott's or anything go ahead and visit shoppop.ru use my coupon code again PR you get 10% off and see what he's got in there he's got Nikes, he's got Jordans, he's got Balenciaga, he's got a lot of different brands in there. And if they look as good as these, as I'm telling you guys, these and the 11s did, you're going to have no problems, basically, again. And I, I'm going to wait till the actual shoe comes out in about two weeks and see what the shoe looks like. I'm going to, if I get my hands on it, and I'll compare both shoes and see if they actually, how, how if there's any difference, you could, if you could tell the difference. And that's only if I get my hands on the shoes, of course. But there you go. Jordan 3, J Valvin collab shoe looks amazing oh i'm gonna go ahead and start rocking these probably today and i hope you guys did like the video again i'm gonna be doing these you know sneaker videos here and there every once in a while mostly still focusing on automotive but still sneakers once in a while so you guys could check those out but if you guys did like the video go ahead and hit that like button down below go ahead and hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys on my next video peace